Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Astroneer. Hopefully you guys are having a good one today. My day is going fantastic. We have all kinds of stuff going on over here in our Astroneer world. Uh, our research, this thing is almost finally done. Uh, it has been a long, long while. We get about 2,000, 1,800. We'll end up with uh, probably about 2,500 bytes uh, off of this thing. Uh, so I am very excited about that. Very, very, very much. Uh, and then we need to look into getting into some of this other stuff as well. So there's like the mineral extractor. Um, we can, well, I can't quite get to a solar panel just yet. We can do power cells. We can do small oxygen tanks. All kinds of goodness. Medium wind turbine. I don't think I'll quite make it to that. Not yet, at least. Um, yeah, not even close to the rover. We found the one seat, so I don't think we need to make or learn this since we found the one. Uh, there's a winch. Winch sounds pretty cool. Shuttles, all of that. And then through here, there's a narrow mod. That probably has to do with digging since this, uh, this boost mod it can go on our gun. And then we get a wide mod, an alignment mod. Not sure about that. Medium printer, vehicle base, storage, drill head. Okay, okay. I'm kind of interested in the drill head. Kind of interested in the crane as well. Let's go for the drill head. I think that sounds cool. And we'll close that. Uh, we got something coming up this way. We've got a pretty bad, pretty bad storm coming. Uh, let's see. Can I come over here and start to make that drill head? We need resin and aluminum. Okay. Um, I probably should just get in here and wait for this storm to be over just to be safe. All right, our drill head has been finished. Uh, so does this thing just go on the front here? Let me, um, let me just throw that down for a moment. Let me disconnect this. Uh, we'll back up the vehicle here. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, we can get out. And does that just, like, snap onto the front of this thing? It, mm, it doesn't feel like it wants to snap onto the front. I was thinking that's what it did. But it does not seem to be the case. Uh, let's, let's try making something else here real fast as well. Um, we can make another medium rover. Um, let's see. What else was there to be had over here? Yeah, I don't have any power left. Um, okay, so we can't make the drill head. We can't make the crane. Maybe that's something that has to go on the crane, and I just I messed up. Uh, the open one seat. The, the large rover, I don't know if that would have two slots in the front or not. I don't see why it would. Um... Let's see, power cells, filters, small oxygen tank. Yeah, we're, we're close on a lot of this stuff, but we're not quite there. Uh, I could go ahead and make a mineral extractor and learn that. And then we could go right here. Ah, yep, there we go. Uh, no, don't fall down. Come back up here. There we go. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. All right, medium printer, smelter, vehicle bay, mineral extractor. Let's go ahead and craft that. Uh, compound sample needed. Oh. And soil? No. Okay, so... Oh, it needs power. Okay, so we gotta wait. Basically, we gotta wait for daytime. Uh, currently. I'm a little sad that this doesn't, like... Snap to the front of that. I I almost wonder if it's something that I did or don't uh, didn't do one of those things. Um yeah, I'm not I'm just not entirely sure uh what I have to do. So I might look into that while we wait for day. All right, guys, I made another rover just to kind of pull around some stuff and went and got just a a ton of resources, as many as I could. Uh, I went and got some. I've thrown on the other two research things that we have. Uh, I actually didn't check. This one is going to have 870-something bytes. Uh, probably like 900 as long as it's been going. 
and then this one over here has 924 bytes, kind of the same uh, situation as the other one. Uh, is the other one fully powered? Uh, yes, you are fully powered. Now, let me see if I can't... Uh, is there actually... No, there's just one on this. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. And then that one's got two from the other deal. But I could put this over here. And then I could take this one and put it over here. So that's going to run slightly better. Mm -hmm. And we can do a couple of small... Uh, oh, no, I didn't want to drop that on the ground. No, give me that. Uh, oh, I guess it just fell on the ground. Uh, let me do a small solar. Okay, and give me that off my gun. I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so that is now going to be running at three force capacity. Oh, and I have this. So let's go ahead and make another one. You guys told me that uh, four solar panels are basically enough to run these things at max. So this one has four on it. And then the one over here has two on it. Plus I have two on the rover. So if I park the rover here, it uh, it should be doing what it's supposed to be doing. But it's not. Hmm. I wonder why the rover... It's almost like this one on this side is not actually getting enough... Uh, sun access. Yeah, now it is. Okay, good. So basically, just the way that I parked the machine, it wasn't uh, it wasn't getting everything that it needed. So from there, we could try and make some bigger solar panels. I think uh, solar. I kind of want to wait until I get into a large rover, but that's eight thousand bits. Because I looked it up. Uh, and if I want to use the um, the drill head, I need to have the crane, uh, which the crane is right there. So that's 2,000 bits, and I believe that stuff only works on the large rover. So that is going to make it a little more difficult uh, to get to. So I'm just kind of looking around and trying to figure out what I would like to make next, and Probably, I don't know what the inhibitor mod does, um, but I would probably want something that's a small generator, medium generator, uh, like this this bigger solar panel, uh, so that way we can make that and kind of continue on. So I think I'm actually going to take the rover out. Um, probably, I'll probably let night go one more time, and then I'll probably take the rover out, and I'll probably head off that direction. Uh, do I still have the stuff to make a beacon? Yes. Okay, I want to see how this beacon works. Uh, beacon. Okay. So I can lay that down. Okay, that's it. Is that just changing colors? Okay. So I'm going to leave that here, and then I should be able to make another one, or I can get the materials to make another one. Clear off everything off the ship, and... Um, yeah, we'll probably go on a little adventure to kind of mess around a little bit. All right, it's morning, and I am setting off on an adventure with the cart, the uh, the rover, to hopefully find something interesting. Um, I headed out here once. I uh, actually headed out here over to this thing right over here, which I'd like to come back to just for a second because there were some resources next to this thing. Um, I actually just uh, took off one of my uh, I took off one of my solar panels and switched it out for a um, a wind turbine just in case you know something happened. Oh, that hurt uh, pretty bad actually. All right, let's uh, ooh, lithium copper. Let's kind of uh, dig it out a little bit here so we can see. Okay. Oh, there's some... I can't see it. What's going on? All right. Am I going to be stuck in here now that I've, like, fell into this hole? Or am I going to be able to get up and out of here? 
Okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, we'll be able to get out of here. Just gonna have to make my way up. There we go. Okay. Whew. I was a little worried there just for a second that we were going to be stuck in there forever. Uh, let's go ahead and just build this up just a little bit. And let's see. Can I just grab the, yeah, compound. All right. And then I think we were pretty much nothing over there. Okay. So there were some resources around. That is always awesome. Uh, I did get a piece of lithium from it. So that was... You know, like my, oh yeah, bread and butter almost. All right, let's go ahead and uh, just make sure our inventory goes on to this deal. And that will help in our explorations. Uh, I did throw a beacon up. Uh, it's right over that way. It's actually hidden behind the clouds. Uh, but I did that because I wasn't sure how far the home beacon went. For some reason, I remember that being a problem in the past. And so I didn't want to take a chance. I went and threw down a beacon of its own. Uh, and then I have another beacon, um, a couple other beacons on the actual uh, shuttle or uh, the rover. So if we uh, are, in, you know, lost or if we find something really cool, we can always make our way back. Um, now, along with that, I switched out for the wind turbine. So that way, if I needed to, I could let the wind go ahead and recharge if it's nighttime, kind of like what we're dealing with here. Um, kind of can't believe how fast the night's going for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. All right. So being out here and just kind of driving around on the surface is actually really fun. Like I, I enjoy doing this a lot and we did find some pretty good stuff. Uh, we found uh, a couple of uh, one-seater driver positions. Um, found, like I said, a couple of those. So that was really awesome. Uh, there is a research piece uh, that where that green beacon is that you see in front of you. Uh, that is uh, a research piece that we can grab and pick up at some point uh, if we want to. But I, I don't have any room for, like, really big pickups uh, right now because I have all the research things on me, but probably eventually I'll spend some time and uh, And go get those When I when I have a lot more space uh, Just so I have that ability to to kind of get into those um, Yeah, we're gonna sit here for just a second and let the wind recharge our stuff and I want to dig this out and see what it is It's nothing all right. I was curious what it was. I thought they might have been like lithium or, or something, or, but they, they're definitely just structures in the world. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. I mean, we should be good. I, I like having the two carts because the one in the back will always uh, really power, you know, is a, is a backup. So... Once I run out of the first one, I know that whenever I get to a spot to where I can, I can charge up uh, and be good. So that's what I've been doing. Um, short of that, I mean, I think our research stuff is still going fairly strong. Or at least I hope it is. Uh, there's this little thing here. I kind of want to do a little bit of digging. Nothing from that. And then you just got this little piece here. Just always feels like there's just something around when you see scrapnel. But it does not appear to be the case this time. Just a big deep cave. All right. And that research piece we found is just on the other side there. Okay, all right, we got sun coming in, and we should be good to head back. All right, so we made our way back to base, and I think we're doing pretty good. We've got a large amount of stuff. Um, I do want to go and collect some of the research pieces, so I probably... Uh, do I have enough compound? Let's see, I'm going to need... 
How much compound? I'm going to need, I think, four compound to get that going. Make another, um, make another, what you call it? Hucha uh, rover. And we should be good there. Um, I don't really need another storage just because I just don't need it. So we'll put that there. Okay, and that one finished up. Looks like we're doing pretty good. Looks like I just need to go and collect some more compound. Because I don't think we're going to have any on this. If we do, it's one. No, I, I literally have none on that. So, all right. Well, yeah, let me... Uh, I'll have to go and collect some stuff up. But I think that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Uh, since we did some exploring and such, I think it was uh, good fun. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode of Astroneer.